Hey, yes, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Imperator Rome! We are showcasing the settled tribe government over here. Ran its time a little bit since the last time uh, when we ended the last video. We got a little bit of cash, a little bit of manpower. Did just spend some oratory power here fabricating a claim. We'll talk about that in just a second. Also been booping around looking at the laws we might want to change. Um, we can't do it right now because I just spent my oratory power, but there's some interesting possibilities here. Like the council laws here, if I don't care about just friends, I could have open hearings for more clan chiefs. There are more people I might have to satiate, but at the same time, it I think would split the power more and therefore prevent sort of these people from thinking they have so many loyal cohorts that they could maybe challenge me. It's a possibility. Anyway, I just went ahead and uh, justified a claim over here against Nervia. So I think we're going to go ahead and do something like that. They don't actually have a lot of allies, which is part of the reason I decided to go for it. It is winter time, so of course there could be a little bit more attrition. Uh, the 25th of January, so that would be right around now. Declare war. There we go. So, oh, I have a truce with them! Right. It's because for some reason... There's a truce right here. Oh my god, 10 years. Um, for some reason, after I think because we became big enough, we couldn't be a defensive pact. We had a guarantee going on in Nervia. Ah, that is rather unfortunate. All right, let's let you guys split up so we don't get attrition. Then I guess we're just going to sit here some time longer. Never mind! Here, I thought we were all going to start a war, but maybe not right now. Uh, Remya over here, how are you looking? you got a lot of friends, and so do you, right? Yeah. And over here... So, right, we have these old guarantees. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to revoke this. So this is a leftover, I would say, of our... Um, of our previous um, diplomatic pact. I would think. Do we have any more? So these are truces. We have the CB. Military access, exporting, importing. Uh, oh, Remia is trying to improve our opinion. It's interesting. Relationships and things. We still have um, some aggressive expansion kick around. I don't remember where that was. Is this here? Yeah. We have tons of aggressive expansion still sitting around. That takes a while to burn off in here as well. So, managing that is still a good idea. Alright, so we can probably go back over here since we have no relationships whatsoever. Then a little bit of shuffling. We kicked out uh, one of the governors because uh, he was going and uh, embezzling money from his province of Frisia. So, we did a little cycle around there. It would have been nice to put some of my family in, but I don't think one was a, uh, available. Petitioner approaches. Vision of the future where bad things will happen. I will take the oratory power. Although, here's the thing. We've got a lot of money here. Um, curiosity... Yeah, you have lots of friends. Like, we have some truces. We'll just have to fabricate some more claims on people. Um, we are going to spend some money. Now, I do have a citizen over here. 82%. Making a little science. Probably have to go... Like, I'm, I'm going to promote you. And then promote you all the way over to citizens. We have a couple of you. Low 50% happiness, and therefore they're contributing some unrest. They like civilization value. Oh, I can't actually level up to this building still. We'll get that going. That's going to be okay. Guess I could open up the macro builder um, and consider uh, some buildings. We could training camp. Be nice. I don't suppose there's any particular info as to which place would be best for these. We might still want to fort up. We still want, might want a uh, granary just for the growth. Um, manpower probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So, I guess the thing to do... There you go. Somewhere like this would be okay, because we get manpower from freemen and tribesmen. So, we'll go ahead and build a training camp. I mean, ideally, we'd be placed with lots of freemen, but that's going to be okay. Even if they're Gordon Freemans, that would be alright. Sometimes, if the right man in the right place or something, I don't remember. What was that quote from the... Uh, what was that guy's name? The Elusive Man? No, that was from Mass Effect. Whatever, like, the, the spook, the, the briefcase dude, the, the, the government guy. Uh, what? Is, ooh, military tradition! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Show stats. Those are current stats, I guess. Right, they take more raw damage, but less attrition weight. Um, okay, so, traditions. Um, we probably want to sort of pick one of these columns and just work our way down. Uh, strike from afar. This is good for archers, good for manpower. Chariots and light infantry on planes. Let's see. Forest... Plains, marsh. Okay. 
I mean, there's a fair amount. There's also a fair amount of forest. Um, raise Levy's ability. Whatever that needs. Okay. Or whatever that means, rather. Uh, wrong culture happiness is boosted. Cord recruit speed. Heavy infantry offense. Siege ability is good. Morale of armies. What do we have here? Light infantry morale. Chariots. Okay, so this is a lot of, yeah, sort of hit and run kind of lightweight stuff. Enslavement efficiency. More slave output. Archer forest combat bonus. Yeah, enables the hit and run tactic. So we get better in the forest, of which there's plenty of forest. Heavy infantry. Light cost. Archer defense. Infantry discipline. And then here we've got chariots. Light infantry defense. Army weight modifier, so less attrition. Manpower recovery speed, which is also nice. Archer morale. I don't know. I think... Straight morale, straight manpower. I think I'm going to go down this right branch over here. So we might focus on building more archers, because we will get the archer bonus. Ooh, I didn't realize the cost goes up for the amount of tradition. Wow. All right, that, that definitely scales up. Way easy. Um, I suppose I could levy some right now, which might not be a terrible idea, especially since we have these retinues. Um, do we want to ar add archers to this? If we take a look, we're running Deception right now. Deception... Yeah, none of this would help. But you're also good at development, you know, which archers don't help with. Okay, maybe we don't add anything to you. Yeah, we can change the cohort order, but that, no, this is fine right now. Um, maybe I will generate another war fan or war host. Rather than make this guy more powerful, he's got some people who are loyal. Not very many, but some. I think it's better to, like, break up the power of Scooch. So what I'm going to do is right over here, I will build... Three, and three. There we go. I think that's going to be okay, and then we'll assign another general to that. We've got a disloyal character over here. He's still going down a bit. We don't have a disloyal province anymore, which is nice. There you go. You need a director. 75 loyalty. That's not bad. What is this? So it shows you traits that are relevant to the role. So if assigned as a commander, archer discipline, light infantry discipline. That's really good. You got some cool stuff going on, but this isn't relevant yet. Yeah. You, buddy, are definitely going to be the guy that we want. Another invention as well. I don't like burn through all these inventions. Here, we'll grab starting experience, I guess. I don't know. Sure, you can do this. I mean, I guess we're going to keep accruing some of our power and manpower and stuff. We're going to have a bigger standing army. Ooh, arthritis. That's unfortunate. It's nice that this war, uh, this war host automatically groups up. I don't have to, like, merge them. They're just smart enough to be like, well, if we're spawning, or spawning in a province, we probably want that. Reorganization, if we do this... Oh, we spend mil... That's why the morale reinforces so slowly. If we hit this button, they're more expensive to maintain in this. I wonder if it auto-cancels if they get fully reinforced or something. That would be nice. There you go. This is the way you rebuild your troops faster. Okay, that's really good to know. Just, like, turn on a... Yes, everyone can have access all the time. It's fine. Um, mm -hmm. What's this? We could become friends with Coilus. They would gain loyalty. Or we could say no. They would lose loyalty, and we'd see them as a rival. So now he's got arthritis. How old is he? Where's his age? 46. I don't know, we'll be friends, it's fine. So he'll gain loyalty, and I'm willing to bet his loyalty is going to go up. Family married to ruler family. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Friend of ruler. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Did he just grow up? I just, I swear I just saw this image change. I think he may have just gotten older. We're getting gifts from our neighbors. You're scared of me. Okay, yeah, so you'll, you'll be a little bit under control now. Yeah, I think that was an okay decision to make. I like the little platypus over here. Letting us know uh, how many errors there are in the game. <laughs> Early build! I think a lot of these are warnings. Like, there's not... I don't think 400 legit errors going on. I think it's just a lot of debug messages that are going on. Tyranny, we ain't got none. Oh, there's aggressive expansion. Stability is stable. Uh, military access, yes. We actually could consider boosting your stability to plus one. It's only 200. doesn't get more expensive now, so yeah. We'll do that. More national tax, more research points, more popularity. We don't have any subject states. And then, yeah, the cost to sacrifice the gods would go up, but that's okay. Leaving it at plus one makes me fairly happy. More oratory power, so I could fabricate some more claims on people. Just to take a scooch. You've got a lot of friends. You only have a couple. Do we have a truce with you? 
Dragons or Truces? Marinia Nervia. So no, I don't have a truce with Remia. buddies including Treveria which is pretty big oh another invention I guess I'll take the old tower I don't know if that affects the current population growth it'll be the next time you run it you can get things that both increase the, uh, the omen duration and omen power find out anything about your troops. Treasury, manpower. Ah, 11 cohorts. And if we look at ourselves, 36 cohorts. Okay, that feels pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, work out a separate piece first. By diving into these guys' territory. Let's just get into position. Oh, and you're in a war with someone else now. You have a civil war. Well, well, well. Okay, let's, let's, let's kick this off. What could possibly go wrong? Boom. Done. Okay. Well, these are probably civil war. Yeah, revolts and things going on. Interesting. Fort level. Fort level one. So you move to here. Okay. I want to hit some of these actual troops as quickly as possible. We might be a little bit blocked by this fort here. Let's go to speed four. Five's a little tough for me to manage. There's the rebellion doing better and better. It might take some of this land. Maybe I should focus entirely on this. Well, I mean, I'm sort of here already. So that's going to be okay. Look at, look at this. Yeah, it's okay. We've taken that. Can we move through here? Not really. Um, Can we get... Uh... Nope, can't get military access over here. That's unfortunate. That would be kind of handy if we could. What about you? Nope. All right, that's fine. Uh, oh, I think we lost one of our trade routes when we started some of the war. But that's okay. So we'll just chill and wait here. Um, let's go and uh, split you up here just to bring down some of the attrition. Don't want some of that. Because we, still, we still don't have a ton of manpower. Yeah, we're losing a bunch to attrition. The ones that from these guys, that's inevitable. Um... routes. Bad research ratio. I mean, we're making a little bit more, which is good, than before, but still, like, nowhere where we want to be in terms of, um, in terms of our research rates. Alright. Siege, siege, siege. Fortifications. Commander impact. Oh, plus one for each mar uh, marshal. That's interesting. We have no siege engineering. There's no blockading that we have to worry about. We have an omen over here. Uh, we are fighting, so it might be nice to take discipline, but actually, what I think I'm going to do is run the manpower. So, it's not going to make a huge change to how much we get per month, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. I don't know, maybe I should have just gone population again. At this point, I wonder if I should just automate these guys. Because, yeah, they're, they're in these other wars. This is not me holding on to this territory here. It's the revolt. But at some point, it'll get revolved, and we'll see what happens. You know, we can just automate these guys, and they'll go and siege whatever they can reach. Ah, uh, yeah, they really are not interested in uh, giving us access here. Still, this is going to be our siege, which is going to be very handy. I think the rest of this territory might be a bit annoying. Out of curiosity, if I were to go and tell you guys to uh, independent operations, what would you do? Oh, you can wrap around there, and you're going to clear that out. Yeah, that'll be okay. This yes. engage lazy mode. Siege has been won over here. Nice. So we'll make sure and take this as the capital of a province here. So that's worth grabbing. I think since we've got this, this is going to de-siege automatically. Because being adjacent to a fort. Got some starving pops, so that's okay. And yeah, come over here. That's fine. You are working over there, which is also fine. 
This auto mode, man, that is great. Here, let's uh. Here, just just full on automated operation. There we go. Everyone's on their own, doing their own thing. There are no threats currently. I do like that you can put an army on reconnaissance as well, so it just goes around and just tries to spot where other things are while trying to stay out of actually engaging anything. Uh, we're going to let you desiege this rebel-held territory. Thank you. And then we are going to want to take that soon, although we probably can't reach it because there's a fort. We probably should build more forts. We're going to slowly do this. Man, this is great. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, sure, you can have trade routes. I have tons of money. We could build a building. I also want to double check. Can we any trade available? At wine, fish. So what does wine do for us? Freeman happiness. Yeah. Temp for slave output. I'll just take pop growth. From Frisia over here, that's fine. Um do I just build granaries everywhere for some prop growth? I think that might be a good idea. Especially in our main capital zone. Actually, I guess that's not it's kind of weird. Let me um, cancel you. We'll do it in Bruges. Okay. I don't know if that's actually Bruges. Or if Bruges and Bruges have nothing to do with one another. I don't know geography. Um, I'm gonna make sure, yeah, there you go. I just cancelled your objective. I want you to make sure to stand here, even if something might distract you and pull you away for some reason. I mean, maybe, like, it would be good to have you run away if there's a threat, but mostly I want you to just stay there. Oh, we're gonna have a successful fight over here against something. Oh, these guys. Yep, that's gonna be fine. They're moving into the woods, where we are. Religious proceeding? High priests and attendants demand the distance needed to do their jobs properly. Arguments the peasants have no rights in the inner working. So, priests will be left alone. We lose stability. We gain closed temple for 10 years, giving us national unrest, but lots of omen power and duration, and increases loyalty. Which proceeding through the city will appease both sides. We get some religious power, and they do gain some loyalty. Or, peasants' right. Gain stability, lower national unrest, tank our omens, and tank his loyalty. I'm going to do this, actually. I think stability is going to do good things for us. Stable realm will increase our popularity. Which is going to be nice. All right, siege, siege, siege. Uh, one of these guys is moving. Stay in this battle here. Just stay there. Man, if we can get some war elephants... One sec, guys. Okay, sorry about that brief interruption. My bad. Doom, 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 doom. So, we're still going well. Uh, we do have more controlled armies now. I guess we don't need this many people sieging here. So, let me... I'll put you on... I'll put you on keep reserve, you know. You just stay behind. In a safe spot. Although, I guess you're still sitting around there being intrusion. Raise a host. Coilus wants to increase his army. Let's see. You are a friend, but if you have a bigger army, then you're going to become quite disloyal. Although that would just lose disloyalty. Eh, what could possibly go wrong? Go ahead, raise some more troops up. I'm sure this is going to be okay. There, and then both of you over here. I guess... independent operations. It might just stay there, though. Yeah, that is what's going to happen. Oh, we're paused. But no, they're still staying there, which is okay. By the way, when we finish these sieges, we might get some slaves and things. That's one well here. So they still have their civil war. I don't know, we might want to wait to peace out until the civil war is over. There you go. Look at that. The reinforcements automatically happening. We can play at a higher speed. This is going to be really nice in multiplayer, too. Because I'm really bad at micromanaging my troops very quickly in, in multiplayer, so at least there's that. I mean, I'll still lose to someone who's got the APM to micromanage their troops in real time. But this will help a little bit. Have some controlled, have some automated. Plus, it feels re realistic. Play, it makes make me feel like when you play the Hearts of Iron things, you know, where the troops are doing their own thing. It feels good, man. I like being general like that. Alright, come on. Siege one. Excellent. 
I will just go and take it. stuff around here. More inventions. So this will refresh when this is done. So we may want to just wait on some of these. At least I think so. Ever research technology, three new inventions are unlocked. Once an invention is unlocked, bonus is played in its tooltip, will be permanently applied, and the invention will be removed from the list of available choices. I mean, if we don't care about these that much, a diplo rep might be worthwhile. I don't know. We could just wait until we advance some things. This is different from how it was working in the earlier builds. Alright, siege is done. We only have one controlled army. We're not doing anything right now. Let's have you move over here, although we won't be in charge of this siege. Never mind. Some peace offers. Uh, ooh, there's going to be a fight here. Tell us we're going to have an advantage, and I don't know why. Let's have you stop here for a sec. It seems like a lie, because it looks like we'd have a numbers advantage. It looks like these guys have plenty of morale. Oh, no, not sure why it was suggesting it might be okay. I don't want to peace out quite yet. We're going to want the ability to grab absolutely everything. Um, let's take your now. Down there. Probably get you an automatic. There we go. Let's make sure that everyone can come help here and then we'll put them on automated again. They probably would have come down, but this is going to be okay. So one last fort for us to grab. Okay, victory. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to get everyone here. Independent operation. Fine. There we go. They're all automated. Oh, this is so good for cleaning up a war like this. It's gonna make the late game especially, you know, like the late game in EU, think about it, how like crazy it gets, how much little micro and stuff. We've got exiled troops, probably as a result of some civil war nonsense. Well, he's got inflammation. I think he's also got, um, uh, the word? Arthritis. He developed that earlier, hadn't he? Something like that. What is this? Peace imminent. Okay, oh, we, we still have, like, 900 days, so we're okay. But yeah, because we've had our war goal for so long, it might get forced. But we've got time. Um, just, just chill here. You don't need to assist in this attack. It's fine. I promise you. I appreciate your enthusiasm. But yeah, thank you for the gift. We could start another building, but we will we'll just wait here for a scooch. Be nice if their civil war ended. But yeah, I want this, and then once that goes, we'll negotiate for whatever we can grab. It might be a little border gore-ish, you guys. But we may have to put up with it. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna be like. Probably rather unpleasant. Be nice if they just finished their civil war. Can we find out? I guess we can't find out your war goal fight until they've fully conquered the other. Right. Which I guess can't happen because I hold some of the land right now. Sounds That sounds about right. Yeah, so we'll just let this finish and then we'll peace for whatever we can peace for. Which is fine. We can always start another war later. War exhaustion, popularity changes that happen from winning and losing battles. Um, Okay, I think that's 100% of all the land. Sue for peace. Monopia, Monopia, Monopia. You can only grab stuff that's adjacent, so then it sort of runs out. Uh, there we go, there's some individual cities we can grab. As opposed to a full state at a time. I don't know if it's worth... have them become our subject and stuff too, but I don't know. I think we'll do this. There's going to be a little bit of a gap here, which is going to be kind of awkward. No quarter! Done. Okay, and yeah, I'll put all you guys on just independent operations for now. 
It'll just spread out so you don't get attrition. Yes to trade. Yes to this. You got some people black flag. There might be some local rebellion as well. Why are you yellow? Are you a different country? Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Look, look at this gore. Look at this horrible border gore. Now... Interesting. Magonia and the Revolt. So we could... Let's go to uh, Diplomatic Map Mode and click on you. So we can see what your friends are. We could immediately start another war with these guys. Oh, we have no manpower in the tank, though. I mean, we'd win fairly easily, admittedly. Maybe we'll just wait for the Civil War to end so that we can go and mop things up when, uh, when the, you know, things are a little bit more relaxed or something like that. At some point, the truce over here will end as well, so we'll have some more targets. But yeah, I mean, we don't have any manpower. We're still reinforcing right now, so that's probably an okay thing to wait. I like that. What I'll do here is we'll put in another cut. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'm going to see you guys next time.